this, lettuce, right. Mushroomers. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the ever so talented and quite versatile cucumbers, Marvin, his lovely wife, Renata. Well, I won't mention that Marvin and Renata and the rest of this festive group who'll be making up our salad should have been here an hour ago. Oh, what a short career. Peter, we're having company tonight. Where were you? <laughs> uh, auditioning bean sprouts. That is a serious question. Hey, well, it's tough finding a bean sprout with the right joie de vivre. Peter. As uh, visiting Vicky. Besides, Lori, Ben, and the baby, come on, they're not company, they're family. They're company. I've been seeing an awful lot of her lately. I'm trying to get the girl out of prison. That, that's, that's not a casual commitment. Hey, you know, I wish just once in a while you might ask, how is she? Maybe, uh, how are things going? How are things going? Mr. Webster says they're going real well. We have uh, just to find her a sponsor. That's the last thing. Dr. Phillips is going to talk to his wife, and I'm hoping she'll come up with something in a hurry. Is he down at the clinic yet? I wouldn't do you know? know. Well, I'm going to call him. Hey, should I ask him to dinner? No. I mean, uh, no, let's just keep it family. Um, okay. I'm going to finish setting the table, and I'll be right back. Yeah, uh, Chesterfield Free Clinic. Russ? Yeah? Yeah, this is Pete. Oh, hey, Pete. Hey, how you doing? What can I do you for? Okay, uh, look, I'm looking for Dr. Phillips. He wouldn't happen to be there. Uh, no, I'm afraid not. I'm here all alone. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's okay. What can you do, right? Uh, what are you doing down there, anyway? Oh, just a uh, little, little homework. Oh, well, sounds exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on your point of view, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, well... Okay, well, it's nice talking to you. Wait Why don't you ask him over for dinner? Uh, hang on just a second. Tonight? No, next Wednesday, of course, tonight. Okay. Um, uh, hey, huh? uh, Mom would like to have you over for dinner. What? What, now? Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Please come. Uh, ben and Lori's bringing the baby over. I need someone to talk about something other than how cute the kid is, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, well, when you put it that way, uh, how can I say no, huh? <laughs> right. Okay, so we'll see you then in about 30 minutes or so? Fine. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Dr. Phillips can't make it, but how come you wanted Russ to come? Russ? Yeah. Oh, good evening, Rose. Dr. Phillips. Is Mrs. Phillips at home? She's in the living room. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Dave. Sorry for barging in unannounced, but uh, there's something I have to talk to you about. to Gil earlier today. I didn't think it'd be long before you did. Well, you sound as though you disapprove. I do, if you said what I think you did. I urged him to reevaluate his relationship with Amber, that's all. Don't you mean to reestablish it? Well, yes, that possibility does exist. Did Gil think so? Well, no, he didn't seem to, but I thought that... Oh, Dave, let go. There's no love there. But there had to be something. Yes, a physical relationship. That's as deep as their relationship went. You have to accept that. It's not the way you and I handled our lives, but it's the way our daughter has chosen to live hers. Now, this is a choice that she's made. And it was a wrong choice. Something that she'll live with forever. Maybe if I could just talk to her. You have. 
It didn't help before, and it certainly won't help now. And besides, she's in a better position to know what's best for her. Now, what position is that? She's never had a mature relationship in her life. She wouldn't know what's involved. How could she possibly assess what's there or what's needed, much less make a decision? All right. Maybe she doesn't, but I can. And from what I've seen, I would say that it is never going to be possible for them to make a go of it. Is that good enough for you? Will you leave this thing as it is? If for no other reason for Stacy. Oh, Dave, I think she is in love with Gil. And he is in love with her. Now that's a relationship that is possible. Push for that. How can I? The child will always come between them. Dave, there isn't going to be a child. You have to let go of that, too. Alas, poor Marvin. I knew him well. Oh, please. Hi! Hi, Hi. Hi. Sorry we're late. Did you believe we tried to get away from the house over an hour ago? Yep. Hi, sweetheart. How took you so long? Don't ask. Scotty decided he wanted to spit up on me right before we were leaving. Oh. <laughs> and, and then when she was changing, he let loose on me in another direction. Yes, and then oh. while he was changing, he decided he would like to eat. Et cetera, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. <laughs> yeah. You know, I also didn't realize that uh, you have to have an engineering degree just to get that kid inside his car seat. Mm. I don't know, will there ever be a time where we can just get in the car, go off somewhere, and have a good time without making it a major production? Mm -mm. When you wave goodbye to the last one in about 20 years or so. Uh -huh. Honey, you know what? I think, I think he feels a little warm. Here you go, Peter. Good. Marie, what's in this thing? Everything the kid will need through his sophomore year in college. <laughs> hey, buddy. No, he's fine. You want me to take him upstairs, see if I can get him to sleep? No, I'll do it. I set up the porta crib in your room. Okay. Are you sure the port... Oh, I'm sorry. You sure the porta crib's not in here? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop complaining. Okay. okay. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Yeah. I heard that you and Lester had a set to. Tell me what happened. Oh, not much of anything, really. I just visited Nancy as a relative. Since I can't see her as a doctor anymore. Hey, spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Um, and? May I? Ben. Well, Lester just wasn't real happy about it. That's all. Mm. Very good. Could you be a little more specific, please? You always use just the right amount of garlic. Not about that. Well, he told me to um, keep my distance as a relative, too. Now, come on, Ben. Stop it. Is that all? No, yeah, that's all. There's, there's nothing to worry about, really. Are you going to? Yeah, I'll stay away from her for a while anyway. Which means you're going to have to give me very detailed reports. Terry, how about just a little more oregano? How about if you get out of my kitchen? Have you told me everything? Would I lie to you? I don't know. Oh. Hey, uh, Scotty had to eat again. The kid leads a thrilling life. Hey, Mom, could I take this guy away from you? I want to ask him some questions. Mm -hmm. You would be doing me a very big favor. In fact, your job is to keep him out of my kitchen. Okay. Step into my office. Gladly. Terry, just one little pinch of oregano. <laughs> you... Out, out. <laughs> right now. Perfect. <gasps> You're obnoxious, you know that? You know that's all I ever really wanted to be? Be normal a second. I want to ask you a question. Uh-oh, by the tone, it could mean only one thing. No, two things, but I figure you've already got the birds and the bees down by now. Yeah, maybe. Uh-oh, serious, huh? No, look, I just want to know, Ben, a guy like me, a guy my age, can I be in love now? I mean, in love. Yes. Vicky? Yeah. Well, what makes you think this is so serious? Lots of things. I mean, I, I want to be with her all the time. I'm only happy when I'm with her. And it seems like all the long-range plans I make are for us. I see. And you think I'm nuts. Peter, I've always thought that. <laughs> Thanks. How long have you known this girl? March the 22nd, 1982. Well, couldn't you be a little more specific? 1.30 p.m. Oh, you've got a bad kid. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Well, how does she feel about you? Well, I think she feels the same way. We just never had a chance to talk it out completely. Well, why don't you talk it out? Because I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to look like an idiot when I find out I misread her feelings. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. And it's better to remain quiet and appear mm. an idiot rather than to say something and erase all doubt. Oh, boy, you know how to ease a guy's feelings. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, there's no charge for this either.
I will not allow Amber to destroy our grandchild. After all this, you still talk as if you could change her mind. And you still talk as if it doesn't make any difference. And you know what that's called? That's acceptance. Yes, it does matter to me. But I have recognized what I can realistically ask of my children. I can't and I won't ask Amber to have a child she doesn't want. Dave, be honest with yourself. What kind of mother would she make? She wouldn't have to raise the child. She could put him up for, for adoption. Oh, you are not going to give up on this, are you? No. Why am I the one who's labeled narrow-minded? Why am I the only one who's, who's called unrealistic? The unrealistic attitude is Amber not accepting the consequences of her actions. Oh, come on, Dave. This is another generation. And you're, you're helping her. Even when I supported abortion, I never thought it should be used as a convenience. At that time, I wanted it to be the choice of women who, who had no other options open to them. But abortion is totally out of the question now. And what does she do if it happens again? You let her make her own mistakes. Oh, and do I let you encourage her to make them? No, no more complaints about me, Kate. Not while you're pulling just as hard in the opposite direction. Look, why can't we just forget about all this for a while? Go out to dinner, uh, concentrate on us. No. I'm going out to dinner with Lee tonight. Business or personal? Both. The business ended on, on your behalf. At least your request for Peter Davidson. I'm going to try to get Vicki Lang on Lee's staff. I think it's a situation that he could use to his political advantage. Yes, just as seeing you in public with him will be used to his political advantage. Well, all right, I'm sure you have things to do. I'll be on my way. Yes. Will you do me a favor and... Uh, Call me when, when he's made a decision. Peter's very anxious about it. I was planning on calling Peter directly. Fine, then. I'll call you myself in the morning. We're going to get through this, Kate. All good things in time, Peter. Oh, or um, all things in good time. You're just a wealth of knowledge, aren't you? All good things in good time. You know my favorite? Good. Silence is golden. <laughs> Dr. Phillips. Hi, Peter. Hi. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, yeah, you are, but I think in this case it's okay, you know. So, come on. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Hi. Do you have any idea what he's talking about? Uh, not the slightest. He's been acting strange ever since we got here. <laughs> what can we do for you? Well, I think uh, for once I'm the bearer of good news. Peter, you should be getting a call tomorrow morning from Kate. Looks like Vicky will be working for Lee Carruthers. Oh, thanks. Dr. Phillips, thanks a lot. Well, I think you should save your gratitude for Kate. She'll get it. Oh, this is terrific. She said when she could, she could get started? Well, I think you'll learn all that tomorrow. Oh, wow. This is fantastic. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, I'm going to give her a call. Peter, um, maybe you should hold off till you get the full story. This is the full story. This is the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle. The sponsor. We got it, all right? I hope she can come to the phone. Uh, do you think he'll be raising false hopes with this phone call? Oh, no, I think it's all set. Okay. Hey, come on in. Sit down. So, what are you up to? Uh, how come you're not out with Kate? Well, tonight she's out with Carruthers. Oh. Problems? Oh, no, nothing I can't handle. Well, good. Hey, by the way, you're staying for dinner. I am? Sure, you're free, aren't you? Did I hear the doorbell? Oh, yes, I am, but... Yes, you did hear the doorbell. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Uh, I hope you've got room at the table for one more. I've invited Dave to stay. long enough to get ready. Well, as they say, it was worth the wait. 
How are you? Much better now. I can tell you look fabulous. Thank you. Lee, I, um, I have made a decision. Oh? Yes, I would like to get more involved in your campaign. Offer accepted, uh, with no explanation necessary. I had a feeling it might. <laughs> you have me right where you want me, don't you? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do I? Oh, I'm not complaining. It's a very pleasurable position to be in. Shall we? We must. Kate. I don't know if it's, a, if it's a problem. No, there's no problem. We'd love to have you stay, right, Terry? Right. Um, excuse me, I've got to do a little rearranging. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Ben. She doesn't seem too happy. No, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. I give up. He yawns and he yawns, and he even almost falls asleep while I'm nursing him. But as soon as I want to put him down, he wants to play. <laughs> Dave, I didn't know you were going to be here for dinner. Well, hi. I didn't know I was either. <laughs> <laughs> I invited him. Oh, Hey, do you want me to go up there and see what I can do with Scotty? No, no, he's not even crying. So uh, let's just leave him be and see what happens. Do you mind leaving him be until I can go up and run and say hello? Sure. Maybe you can give me a few pointers. <laughs> <laughs> well, as time goes by, you'll learn that uh, parenting is 1% know-how and 99% no. No, that's okay. No, I understand. No problem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they wouldn't let her come to the phone. Well, it's probably better to wait until you've got the full story anyway, Peter. Stokes had better call me first thing tomorrow. Hi. Hey. Russ. Hey. Hi. Come on in. With the bakery on the way. Oh, really? I, I thought the sporting goods store. I got that. I got that. Hey, now this is the kind of guy you want to ask over for dinner. What'd you bring here? Yeah, let's see. Got a strawberry, strawberry pie and a, oh, hey. a brownie crumb hey. ring. Hey, everybody be quiet. He's asleep. So what is this? Every time I leave and go upstairs, there's a new dinner guest. Hello. If, if you're wondering, she just said hello to you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like the way that kid sleeps? Yeah. That's your son? Yeah. Either that or someone's a great ventriloquist in here. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Has the guy come up? I haven't seen him yet. Well, sure. Yeah, I'd like the company. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take this, Russ. Why not it? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Better get back to work. And, uh, well, thanks for listening. And for the suggestion. It's an option that might help those two decide, you know, what to do with the baby. Thanks, Terry. You're a good friend. Maybe I could get my finger cut one of these? Oh, no, no, no. I'll take them into your mom. I want to talk to her privately. Okay. Hi. Rest stop by the bakery. Oh, that, that was very nice. Anything I can help you with? No, I'm all set. Thank you, though. All right. Uh, I'm really sorry for barging in like this. Maybe it'd be better for everybody concerned if I just make a graceful exit. No, don't be silly. Got plenty of room for you here. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, well, yes. I, uh, I wanted to thank you for your advice the other day. About, uh, you know, telling Amber, well, that she should have the baby and then put up for adoption. I don't know if it'll be accepted or not, but at least there's one more option open to save the baby's life, and that's all that matters, really. Terry, I, I wanted to ask your opinion about one other thing, too. No, Dave. 
What? I'm sorry. I, I just don't think that I should be counseling you about your family problems. Maybe Ben or, or the pastor would be better able to help you. Well, I'm not asking for you to counsel me. Look, I'm sorry, that... Dave. I just don't feel comfortable in discussing this. All right. I, I understand. going to be one more guest. Who? Scotty. He has decided he does not want to sleep. He has to go in there and entertain the troops right now. That's what he's up. Mother, are you all right? Yes. Mom. Lori, please. Okay. Hey, if you decide you can talk about it, you got a willing listener right here. So, what's left to do here? Aha! Pasta time. The water is boiling. And we are going to need a lot of this stuff for that big crowd in there. 